but you cannot zip me. Yes, Let's start there, okay? What's up, man? And I just dropped the fire track title Kodak. Yes, Kodak. Listen, Kodak because I take dope ass pictures. Yes, I've got references here. Please cut out. Please cut out. Please cut out. Please cut out. What is good? What is popping? I am definitely not popping yet. I just came from work. I'm so tired. Like, oh gee, like I've just been seeing flames this whole week, just deadlines and reports. But I do have an interesting side to my life, so I figured we team for today and a few more days after today, of course. Let me just tell you guys with so you can get an idea, Wuti. What goes down in Bad Milk's life? Yeah, well, so as you can see, I just got from one job. I need to go to the next. I'm about to get ready real quick. I'm not even wearing makeup because I do not have any time. But I'm going to cheat that by wearing like my big hair. I'm sure people are convinced Gucci that hair I always have is mine. Unfortunately not. I'll take off this hoodie, but that won't happen either. So today's plan, I'm basically supposed to go to Bramfontein. Yes, the girl is Jobic based now. I'm going to Bramfontein. Um... Bram, okay, Bramfontein, because I know you guys are going to have me in the comments. I'm going to Bramfontein. Um, I got invited to this podcast called In My DMs Podcast. I hope they don't make me go through my DMs. Actually, they will, but it's all good. And after that, I got invited to Champagne 6 ix album launch for Waves Never Die. So, also happening in Bramfontein, which is great. So, I'm just going to get ready. I'm trying to put my outfit together. Like, I came up with my outfit at work, ne? but I can't find the top so I'm just gonna take a quick shower so I can feel a bit fresh and hopefully I'm just gonna ask my mom to help me with this outfit because wow so I just got to blueprint studios got lost with my boy schoolie who, who couldn't tell me on time yes, it was, it was. <laughs> so yeah uh, let's just check out the vibes where's my bag studios pretty cool yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the photographer king it's looking clean i can't wait to see everything so at this point they were just like sitting up little did i know that i'd be opening you know the next season because they were on a short production break so of course ladies first and you know after the whole setup was done i got settled by my side and so did the host who treated me with so much respect and love you know the podcast itself i'm not gonna lie guys <laughs> it got spicy you know it's like you know when you're eating a burger and then you get to like the the the, the chili part and it hits you and then like it cools down again so i'ma just give the my dms podcast team a 10 out of 10 for like curating those questions and i can't really say much as yet because obviously i need to wait for the podcast to drop otherwise after that i made my way straight to mangrove and this is what went down dynamic doors they like say for sure uh we are here in bra uh, the waves never die listening session. Yes, sir. It's yeah. been cool as fuck. Yeah, it drops on Friday. Mm -hmm. So listen to it. Go get it. So the launch was very awesome. I got to meet a whole lot of people who are quite relevant in the industry right now. Awesome platform to network and get my brand out there. As you all know, I'm a Kodak baby, currently pushing Kodak. So we are trying to get her out there. And tell me, what's a Brum event without some clothing stalls? You know, like of people pushing their brands, as well as some art on display. I wasn't too sure if it was being sold, but I was happy for that touch because it's just a show of versatility in different lanes of art. So let me put you on, especially if you've never attended a music launch of any sort, whether it be a single, album, EP, whatever. So as you can see, King Omar is currently in the building, who was the host of the whole event. And basically what happens at these type of things is as you can see champagne is like jamming to the songs and they'll come apart where you play every song one by one and if you feel the need to talk about it you do if you don't you just get straight to it and obviously the bangers had to be performed they really had to be performed and it was something so beautiful to see because 
if you know and you've followed street culture from Brahms since back in the day, this is something big, you know, so it was just something so great to be a part of. And when that was all said and done, it was just a time to socialize change digits meet new people which is honestly my favorite part of these things because you truly never know what's gonna happen and now that i'm back in my city god knows what's gonna happen so i did listen to the album once again and i think i've come to a conclusion of my two no actually three top tracks which are 15 goons outside and play my shit and that was the champagne 69 launch yourself it is me once again uh when was it wednesday wednesday was so no thursday oh. i swear ever since the pandemic ne? like i just don't know the days of the week anymore and i don't think it matters i'm wearing a hoodie because my hair is so trash and i am not about to be exposed like that as i was saying so today is friday we still out here rocking because each job here to rock really um I got booked an event called Tribe. I'm not sure if it's called Tribe or T-R-I-B-E because it's dots in between, but I'm guessing it's Tribe. Called The Room Is Blue. So that's happening at this club called Rich and Famous. And that is all the way in Randburg in the north. So I thought I was going to take a nap. Then I checked my time. I went over to Yo. My performance is almost 30 minutes long. So usually my sets are like 15, 20. So it's just a matter of me loading new music and just like putting it in a way that is gonna be a fire set. In terms of outfits, a anchor shone. It's gonna come up as it goes, but today I really feel like beating my face to the gods, so I'm gonna do it. So yeah, man, let's just get started with loading the tracks and we'll just take it from that point on okay so it's quite simple as you can see i have like a performance folder that's usually something i do just in case my dj isn't available for me to come and i need to use the venus dj so it's easier just to tell them routine you see like and it's very simple i even put like from track one to track four and Mind you, obviously, I've dropped Voodoo Ain't Out Yet coming soon. Temple's coming soon. Kodak just dropped. So, to this mix of songs, I'm thinking of adding the song that people usually jam to when I perform, titled um, The Hype, which dropped last year, as well as what's this track again? <laughs> yeah, man, I'll be forgetting my own songs. What's the song? The Market so yeah guys this is just me loading all my songs and it's important you cannot go and perform without this like you, you'd rather leave yourself than a stick when it's time to perform so let me just finish off that so we can start the eating of this face so unfortunately the beating of the face did not happen because a girl was so tired from work and after loading the songs i just wanted to rest a bit you know i have something to eat I couldn't even do I did attempt to beat my face which I'm not gonna show because it goes down in the history of being one of the worst face beats and I was being rushed so I was like you know what screw this let me just hop into the car and we just headed straight to the north side Honestly, had it been another day, I would have been mad at the lighting at Rich and Famous because my beat was not the one. I, <laughs> it was all good. So luckily I got there as my girl Sam was performing and as always, she killed it. And in not too long, it was my turn and it went down like so. <laughs> Alright, show me some love. We're about to rock out. I need my trappers to pull up on me one time. Yes, sir. 
Hosted us very well, took great care of us, and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. And you don't know where we're rocking yet because I haven't told you. <laughs> oh, wait. What? oh, wait, oh, wait, cut it. What? Cut it. Where? Okay, I cut it. Lying. But like, I'm just recording videos. Cut it out now, gay. Okay. okay, what else? Yes, Sam. I'll be, yes, guys, I'm a YouTuber again. Yes, sir. Sam's in the building. What's up? Well, are you in the building? I was. <laughs> you living like like living? Yeah, Sam has another show to kill. Yes, Yo. Good night, guys, for real. It's going, we're going Shout to out to Low Key Savage. Shout out yeah. to the baddest of the baddest. Baddest of the No, today was dope, guys. Shout out. Was. Baddest in the game, what up? Yo, what up? The homie in the Cortez of the Cortez. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. You know what it do, man. You know what? What is good? Welcome to Saturday. Let me just close the door because it's like so loud. Anyway, so today is Saturday. Back from work as always. I figured, you know what? Let me just show my crusty hair because today I'm actually going to wear it out like... Let, let the crown live on so we are going to the sand in santon benny chill just dropped a video no not a video a track with aka titled ingozi so they've invited us out to come and celebrate the launch your girl might perform she might not you know i don't like to get into too much detail so yesterday i ended up not beating my face because i was in such a rush <laughs> but today i have all the time fresh out the bath baby let's do this
but you cannot zip me. Yes, That's not there, okay? Yes, and I just dropped the fire track title Kodak. Yes, but listen, Kodak because I take dope ass pictures. Yes, I've got references. Hit yes. me up on the yes. Yes. Wait, Yo. Shout out to my three dubs. My hero tonight. Yes, sir. We all give you your credits. Yes. And we do it Kodak twice because it only makes sense. Let's go. What's your name? What's your name? As you guys can see i don't play when it comes to my shows shout out to dubs it's just my life at this point i hope you guys can sort of get a picture of who bad milk is shout out to mark from cape town thing for also pulling up to the venue yeah so this is what a typical week looks like in my life as you can see we dropped kodak on monday and Tuesday was a free day. Wednesday we did the podcast and the launch. Thursday I was supposed to shoot or go to studio. It didn't happen. Friday we did Tribe in the North. Yesterday we did the launch. Today we are going to Jones and Ice, but they moved it to what's this place? Mamgunjalo. I'm so glad that we've made it to Sunday. And I'm just excited about the vibes today. Like, let's go so unfortunately due to some unforeseen circumstances i could not make it to jams on ice on this day but i was really looking forward to it because the lineup was amazing but that means that we are at the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed it and you've got an idea of what a typical week slash weekend looks in my life check out kodak and subscribe